There are two ways that a ship can float, buoyancy and flotation. In the old wooden hull ship days, um, the, the hull had to retain a certain amount of buoyancy to displace the water that was around it. Um, but if you took a hole in the side of the hull, she might still float, even though she might be losing buoyancy, but because of the material she's made out of, wood, wood floats. And that could help to keep a, a ship on the surface. When you got into the steel hold area, well, steel doesn't float. It's going to go to the bottom. If you lose the buoyancy, there's no flotation there. It's going to the bottom. And if you took a hole, how do you stop the water from just filling the whole hull and, and sinking the thing? The advantage of steel is you can build walls inside the ship, bulkheads, and you can segment the ship into kind of a cellular structure. So if you took a hole in one area, then the water coming in would only be confined to that one area, preserving the rest of the buoyancy to keep the ship afloat. And you designed watertight compartments on their buoyancy, their ability to retain buoyancy. And this is how they figured out how many watertight bulkheads to put in or what safety features they had to have by coming up with what's your worst case situation and how do we retain buoyancy during that worst case situation.